Hey guys, Buffer Game Bad. Today, we're going to have a video. And today, we are doing another movie weapon video for extraction. Today, we're covering the uh, V7 Harbinger that Chris Hemsworth or Tyler Rake uses in the final uh, firefight scenes. So we're going to go ahead and build this, go through it really quick, go into some weapon details for the weapon in real life, and then see how it handles in game. So, let's go ahead and we'll back out. Here is our final design. We're obviously going to be using the Tempest Turret here. So, let's go ahead and we will go ahead and and strip this thing down to base. We'll use the base SR-25 and the Tempest Tora here. So this is uh, an interesting weapon. So the V7 Harbinger is a different 308 rifle, not quite an SR-25 or anything like that, but again, uh, it's from V7 uh, Weapon Systems, I believe is the uh, name of the company. So this is their version of a 308 rifle. So a couple of things here we're gonna change with this weapon is we're gonna leave the muzzle at base. Now in the movie, uh, according to the Instagram uh, images that we've seen of this weapon, um, they're using a BCM handguard, so you can definitely stay with the base one. However, uh, I prefer, I think, the... Where was, where was it? I think this one here, the 16-inch Tor, looks a little bit more uh, true to form to what we're using in real life. They both definitely work because they're both M-Lock. However, uh, the barrel length on, I believe, this 16-inch is a little bit more accurate per the movie. So we'll go ahead and go with that one. Either or is fine. Laser option here, again, he's running a uh, top-mounted PEC-15 with a laser light combo on this thing. So, really, uh, whichever one you are feeling is best for you. He's running a black a black uh, laser light also. So, I'm going to go ahead to the Schlager PEC box. Uh, just looks a little bit better, in my opinion, than the Oli V. So, we'll go ahead and run with that. You can just run with the base. Uh, the base one is fine for the default. So, we'll go ahead and select that. It's going to go on the right-hand pick rail. Unfortunately, we can't do things on the top of the continue rail, which is really uh, annoying, but that's okay. So for the optic, it's going to be a Leopold LPVO. So we'll go ahead and we're going to go ahead and want... There's a couple of LPVO options here, but the best one, I definitely just passed it, is going to be this one right here. So the DS Farsight 11, this is the one you want. Uh, most closely resembles, if not exact, to the Leopold LBBO. So it's going to give you a 4 to an 8.7 times zoom toggle. So we'll go ahead and select that. Now for the stock, it's using the salt mod stock. So we'll go ahead and leave that. We're going to go ahead for the underbarrel. We're going to go with the BCM vertical foregrip. So again, same one we did yesterday for the DDM4 V7S. We're going to go with the Bruin tilt grip. This one's going to be true to form or at least pretty close, if not 100% to the BCM vertical foregrip. So we'll go ahead and select that. And then... You really have another option here to do whatever you want. You can definitely, you can switch out the muzzle device if you want for a, uh, I think it's running like a three or a four prong comp. So you could run something like the TZL90 would definitely be a good option for this one. Um, or even the uh, eight point flash. Either of these I think looks pretty good compared to what they're using in the movie. I'm just going to run for the purpose of what I did in the video. Um, just different ammo, so I'm just gonna run high velocity for no real reason. You can go ahead and probably you'd be better off with uh, to be more true to the to the movie with this TZL 90 V3 would be a better option for you. So just for the purposes of the video, why don't we just put that on? And this would be our final design. It's gonna be in all black, which we don't really need to apply the camo because it already is uh, up in all black. But again, there you can see our V7 Harbinger in 308 looking really really nice bcm handguard trying to trying to get it as close as we can lpvo optic by leopold uh we have the salt mod buttstock pec 15 and the bcm uh vertical foregrip here on the weapon so that's our v7 harbinger build we're also going to be running the same glock 17 build trying to replicate the glock 21 he uses in the movie so we're going to run the same weapon here just minus the suppressor so i swapped out for the uh quick draw uh, which I, I kind of regret not using the other day for the video. But again, this one re looks really good with this weapon. And you can see, especially because we're running a 308 with a pistol, the quick draw is definitely going to help. Again, for the operator to replicate Tr Tyler Rake, Chris Hemsworth's character, as best we can, we're going to run the same Alex skin uh, that we were running the other day in the video. Again, it's a little bit different in this final firefight scene because he's wearing jeans and, again, no helmet or headwear. So you could definitely roll with... Um, I got you. His Echo 3-1 operator skin is also a very good one. However, this one, I just love the way this one looks. The warrior skin just looks awesome. So we're going to roll that one again. Uh, you go ahead now, and we will jump into the gameplay with this weapon. So the V7 Harbinger, again, this is by uh, V7 Weapon Systems. Comes in a variety of different uh, 
barrel lengths and configurations, different uppers and lowers from different parts like DPMS and SR25 upper receivers, um, aluminum M-Lock stocks, key mods. You can really switch this thing up. It's a very he heavily customizable weapon uh, from V7 Weapon Systems. Go ahead and check out their website, and you guys can see a bunch of the different builds here. So, again, it's really a typical uh, 308 weapon. Uh, they use the uh, Geisley G20, G2S trigger. BCM Gunfighter stock, things that we went over here come with this thing at base for the different versions. Weight overall, typically based on the barrel length, is going to be 7 pounds. Um, and the overall length, based on the barrel size, we're looking at 30, 36 inches, 30 to 36 inches, depending on how length, how, what the uh, length of the barrel is. So, again, V7 Weapon Systems, check out their website. I'll leave a link down below. You guys can check it out. Look at all the different builds that they have um, for these 308 rifles and the other, thing, other products that they also offer. So... Again, this is the the weapon that he's using in the final firefight for Extraction 2 in Vienna. So this is actually a really cool firefight. I'm really bummed we just can't put PEC 15s or anything like that on the top rail on a lot of these weapons because it would look really, really good on um, the DDM4 V7S as well as this V7 Harbinger build that we're doing. If we could just replicate it more so to what it is in the uh, movie and put it on that top Picatinny rail. But Regardless, it still looks really, really cool. Um, can't really complain with how good it looks. And again, it handles really good too. So the map I'm using here, um, on this map, again, this is more, I think, of all the maps we have in the game, this is the one that mostly uh, kind of looks like and replicates the final fight in Vienna with the outs, part of the outdoor firefights that happen in that, that final firefight. Um, so I really think this is probably the best map for this. If you guys have a better map, let me know. But I think this one, especially that, that one lane with the cars and everything, the cover fire, um in the front of the map looks really really good and, and pretty close to what they're using or the, the uh, surroundings that they're fighting in in the movie so let me know your thoughts down below again this is a really good movie extraction 2 i i did finally finish it chris hemsworth and i really like the movie does it compare to the first one i think so i think it's i liked it just on par i think the story with the first one might have been a little bit better but I did like the I did like the involvement of the other characters in this movie, such as Nick and, and other people like that. So Nick and, and Cass, I think, played a really good role in this movie, whereas they were just really relatively uh, uh, side characters in the first one, barely really having involvement. Here we see a lot of great gunfights. I feel like there was more action in gunfights in this one. However, there was definitely more one-on-one -on -one type one-shot uh, gunfights with Tyler Raker, Chris Hemsworth character. Uh, in the first one, but again, this is just overall combat. I think it's a little bit better and I really enjoyed it So let me know your thoughts down below. We have social media links everything like that is Down below as well Twitter Instagram discord I'll take a little bit break from uh, social media for a while So if you guys want to get hold of me definitely discord would be the place to do it um, Now a big shout out. We do have memberships are live on the channel um, so they've been live for just about a month now. So if you guys want to join up as membership members on the channel, get different perks. We do have t-shirts and things like that. It'll be coming out here soon and mention your name here at the end of the video. So shout out to FPS cannon fodder, noodley boy, Trinidad hyper and CM for being members. So those are our first four members here on the channel, um, for Buffner gaming. So again, if you guys want to join the join buttons down there, there's three different tiers. Again, just best way to support the channel is just watch the ads. That's the best way to do it. Um, but again, if you do want to become a member, there's some perks there, as well as uh, when we do have some merchandise here in the near future, uh, you guys get a discount on those as well, and uh, get some insight. I'll share things with you over on Discord as far as like the designs, things like that that are coming out. You guys can get, be your first to get your hands on some of those as well if you want. So, memberships are there if you guys want to try those out. If you enjoy the content, be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and let me know your thoughts down below about this additional movie weapon conversions you guys want to see weapon conversions i know windows xp wants to see these the sub mod don't worry that is definitely coming but uh let me know what you think down below especially extraction 2 just a really good movie i really enjoyed it so let me know your thoughts to next time this is buffner gaming with the v7 harbinger from extraction 2 tyler rake chris hemsworth character Till next time buffer gaming out
Taking effective fire! Reloading! I need medical! 